Hi there. So we're now on to the beginning of March and um, the onions are doing uh, exceptionally well. Uh, they've been in the air pots for... So I, I sowed the seeds beginning of October and um, they, they, they just do really well and they, they just are fi able to plant in the final pot. So the, the final pots that I've got are 45 litre air pots I think they are and um, they're sitting in an RTA dripper system. So, um, yeah, as I say, they were sold at the end of October and I was sitting in the final pot. Um, I'll, I'll quickly show you how everything's getting on and um, I should explain a little bit of how I'm growing this year. So you'll have seen throughout the year that I've, I've had the onions in a, a grow tent. Um, it's a, I think it's a rhino grow tent. Uh, not that it means much, but um, it's quite a large tent and what I've got, I must apologise if the if the light on the video is a bit dodgy, but um, it's the type of light that I'm using there. So what I've got is I've got a three one five Maxi Bright uh, light, um, exhale CO two, grow, just just gives off CO two in the grow tent. If the door shut, it lacks a bit of CO two, so um, helps the plants a little bit and obviously the fans go in there in the t5 isn't actually on at the moment but it's on the majority of the time so the system i'm using this year is an rta system and what that means is that nutrients are put into this tank here it's a 400 litre um, flexi tank um, i must say thank you to npk for um, helping sort us out with one of these um so it, it's a 400 litre tank and what, what I do with this is uh, it's filled with water and on the right here is a neutral drip um, this is basically pH and EC so uh, pH and EC the drop into the tank and it gives it very very accurate reading of the pH temperature and everything and you can flick between um, different scale factors and settings on there and it also alarms out there's an alarm on there and I actually think you can link it to a, a laptop but um, it's not really that necessary for growing some daft onions in really but um, so what I'm aiming for with the onions is a pH of about 5.5 um, so that's on the high side I've just filled the water up so I need to get some pH down and put some pH down into there and the nutrients that I'm aiming for are between 1.3 and 1.5 at the moment it's just a touch on the high side so um, if I had to top that up with a little bit more water the uh, the the EC will go down on that so that, that's the um, that's the nutrients there um, inside the tank is a fan uh, uh, circulating fan which is just keeping everything moving around so it doesn't go stagnant there is a little bit of perlite in there which i could do with a filter on and get that out but that's all right so the, the water gets pumped out of the out of the tank and into here the pots with a dripper system so it drip drip drips and the drippers are on a timer which is over here it's on a neutral drip timer and it's set to on the on the 12 the 12 hour mark and for the first hour actually i haven't actually worked this out for the first eight hours 15 minutes every 15 minutes it drips then the sixth hour every 30 minutes two hours remaining and it just speaks for itself really but um it's on a dripper it's all automated so fingers crossed I have been keeping an eye on it and making sure it's running alright but yeah so they're doing alright and the sources at the bottom um, all the runoff water goes into the saucer at the bottom and it's gravity fed through the tubes back to this tank here um, you can actually test the EC and pH of the runoff water in there and um, all you need to do is just drop the pH and EC you know, I can test the runoff um, and see what's actually coming back out of the plants and I can 
it just the nutrients throughout this throughout the um the growing season and the runoff is run to waste in the waste just straight out the door and out it goes so um what i'm what i'm actually growing in this year grown medium is i've got cocoa um cocoa professional 60 percent cocoa 40 percent perlite um, there is charge added in there and um, also mycorrhizal fungi. Um, so I've got one, two with 60, 40. And then these two here are 70% cocoa, 30% perlite. Um, this one here is... Um, it's got clear balls. Uh, twenty percent, uh, sixty percent perlite, and I think it's got twenty percent cocoa in there. So it's a higher ratio of perlite. And the one at the back there is sixty forty clay balls and cocoa. Um, in the tent, we've got the clay balls sixty forty. Uh, back left, I have got all mix, which is. I've already got some nutrients added into that so judging from the plant itself you can't really see because it's turned the wrong way but um, judging from the plant itself it's actually um, taken off so to speak it's it's grown ahead of the other ones so um, I did think that would happen at the start because as I say it's got that extra bit of nutrients in so um, it will take off a bit quicker um, and I've got the 6% cocoa and 40% perlite with the other two so same system in the tent is out the tent but in the tent it's it it's got no natural sunlight um it's only using the lights the two lights in the door shut um so that that that's the plan with that um outside here so i've got natural light which it's quite late on in the day so there's there's no sunlight and um i've got two 300 watt cfl clf um grow lights and they are on when the sun's out so the these are actually getting um perfect sunlight all day plus the supplementary of the the clfs so um yeah just just a quick run run through of the giant onions this year um and how i'm growing them so if you've got any questions feel free to ask and i'll answer them to the best of my knowledge and if i can't answer them I'll find out somebody who can. So that's it. Thanks for watching.